Hi everyone, in this video I will share the configuration for automatic payment run, the code for which is F110 and configuration that we are doing is in FBZP. So there are 4 to 5 steps that we need to uh, do in order to run the payment. First is all copy codes, go to new entries, type your company code here. There are two sending and pay company codes, so you have, uh, sending is optional, so just select the pay company code. And that's it. Save it. These two are used special GL transactions uh, when we are making the advance down payment. So for uh, automatic payment, only these two fields are mandatory. Type it and save it. I have already configured it. <coughs> Check mark this box and then save. After this, go to paying company codes, new entries. Okay. Select your pay company code and enter the minimum and maximum amount for outgoing and incoming payment. If you want a uh, like there is no exchange rate differences so just select this box if you don't want any difference in the exchange rate and if you are using a bill of exchange or something then it mark otherwise you can leave uh, leave this blank for now just to under understand the automatic payment run. fill the pay company code and minimum and maximum amount and then save it Next is payment method in country. Go to new entries. Enter your country payment method. Uh, you need to select one key. Like if you are doing bank transfer, you can select T. If you are doing the check, you can select T. It's up to you. And then mention here if it is check. So you can men mention check here if it is bank transfer or any RP or whatever it is just mention in the description box and select one key for it and select here payment method if it is outgoing then select this one and for incoming this one classification choose among these bank transfer check bill of exchange that's it for uh, on this screen I have configured this one. Right here, check. You know, if there is a already payment method created country wise, like in this case, I created this one, but in your system, if it is already created, for see, uh, check and transfer, you don't need to create it again. You can simply use the same. Payment method is C, check, it is for outgoing payment and C. Now go back and go to this tab, payment method in company code. Go to new entries, select your company code, select your payment method. If it is C, T, whatever it is, from here select it, enter the maximum amount and check mark if you don't want any restrictions I have configured this already this is my company code enter the maximum amount alright and 
on this form data fill this f110 underscore prenum p r e n u m underscore c h c k and that's it if you want you can mention your company name here go back like like this you can uh, i have done this for bank transfer you can uh, like this you can also do it for check or any payment method that you want to use now go to bank determination for this uh, you must have a house bank configuration done already in your system and then select your company code go to ranking order tab you uh, you will form this screen like this okay select your payment method which you want to use currency rank order rank order is uh, like if you have bank transfer and check so which you want to use uh, first because it's an automatic run so it will select automatically according to your ranking order so i have given ranking to t that is for bank transfer here select your house bank now go back to this tab bank accounts select your house bank payment method currency account id and here is the gl account for my bank 1002 go to this available amount house bank again in this the screen will be like this for you select your house bank account id days just put 999 currency available put the maximum amount or the amount which you have in your bank account it's done save the data here that's it so these are the configuration that we require in order to run the payment run now how can we do this i already have open items in my vendor so there are two open items one is due one is overdue for 25700 for payment run go to f110 in the run date put the date on which you want to run the payment so i selected for today's date and just put four digit identification number it can be anything okay it's not four it is five digit five digit so it can be anything alphanumeric so i am taking test enter then set your parameters type your company code here select the payment method for this payment run i am selecting bank transfer and then click on this to move it here right click and enter the next posting date on which you want to do the next payment run so i am selecting 15 8 Here, select your supplier for which you want to do the payment. For SCL, I need to do the automatic payment run, and then go to this additional log tab. Check mark this. These three items. Put your vendor number here. here i have selected only one vendor if you have more than more than one vendor that then you can select like 2200 and if you have one more vendor which is 23 so you can type it here okay. i uh, in this case i have only one vendor enter now go to this status tab and save the data parameters have been entered now go to this proposal tab start immediately proposal is running enter 
payment proposal has been created okay so my proposal has been created now now i will uh, check in the display proposal so i think there is some issue because uh, it's a red mark here if there are no issue then it should be green so i need to edit or check what what is the issue with this then go to this edit proposal to make changes right click select this okay so the problem here is in this house bank is not selected uh even i don't know about about this why my house bank did not get selected here i need to select here every time manually so if anyone knows about this then please mention it in the comment here what i will do double click on this and then reallocate my payment method was bank transfer so here i have to select my house bank manually this was my house bank access ids and then enter all the details have popped up automatically again check mark same do for this reallocate and check mark and like uh, okay now it has turned into blue that means it is good to go suppose there are many document number and you want to do the payment run for one only not for this what you will do select this in the payment block you can select a that is blocked for payment this will be blocked only for this payment run not for all payment run okay so this uh, invoice will be blocked but for now i want to do the payment for both of the documents and and then save it from here see our going amount is 25700 next is i have edited my proposal edited the house bank because it was not selected automatically i will do the payment run now so start immediately and check mark this box if everything is okay then my payment run will be done and it will not be done if there is some issues in this so now enter it says one generated one completed now let me check my vendor account history all items so payment has been run for both of the for both of the documents you can see it has turned into green mark that is payment has been completed so this is how you can do the payment run